Okay, so here we have a very nice example of the uh, Hickok uh, model TV7DU. Uh, um, very nice tube tester. These are great. Uh, I have a couple of these. This is kind of extra excess to my needs. Um, and so this one is in gorgeous condition. I'll give you an idea by going over here slowly. And uh, hasn't been used uh, much the last few years. I did bring it up slowly just in case, and I uh, wanted to show you how clean it was. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. It says it was calibrated by the Army. And it was uh, repaired at some time in 1980, as you can see on that little repaired label there. Um, and it has these uh, high riser little sockets here for the main ones that you test most of the time. Uh, so we do have a tube in here. I'm going to do a real quick test for you to show you. I did compare this to my other TV7, and it's very close, actually, uh, on the uh, meter. So this one is a known-to-be-good tube. It's a, T, uh, it's a 12AX7, and it uh, needs to be above 32 to be good. Um, here, First, I'll show you the line voltage, which uh, to check the line voltage, uh, it's an adjustable thing. You just press the button here, and as you can see, I've already adjusted it over there. Um, the adjustment is, is down right there. So once again, as you can see, the line is adjusted correctly. So on this particular tube, you get the settings uh, here that are correct, which I have for this tube. Simply press the uh, number three button on this particular tube, and there you go. It shows it about 64. Do that again. Maybe 65 even. And uh, this particular tube is supposed to test good at 32. This is a new tube, and so uh, that's just the one side. Uh, test. There's another side of a uh, test to this one, which you just simply change the settings on the switches and set your uh, bias correctly, your voltages, and so forth. And uh, that's how you do it. Uh, we will include a copy of the uh, setup chart. So that has a complete setup chart for the various tubes that you will test. The TV7DU tube tester.